name of first pet. Um, well, when I was a kid, I had three pets, and I don't really know exactly what order I came in, except for which way the cats came, because one of my cats was a kid of the other cat. Um, but I can just go through them. Uh, I had a dog named Oliver, who was a border collie, and he died of um, of cancer. So that was really sad. And I was really young, but I loved him. Um, I had a, I had two cats. One was named Ziggy, and we called her Ziggy because she had like kind of like a zigzag pattern in her fur. And she had, um, I think, eight kittens, and most of them, I think all but one, were ginger. And we kept the tabby cat, which was really probably silly, but that's because that tabby cat was a nightmare. But apparently, we discriminate against ginger cats, so we sent all the ginger ones away and kept the tabby, and we named him Tigger. And we named him Tigger because he liked to jump onto high places, like the grill, and he would steal our food. It became a really big problem. And actually, ironically, Tigger died before Ziggy because he got a disease too. So, yeah, I miss them. But now I have three dogs and they all kind of keep me on my toes. And I have a turtle called Mr. Butters. So, you know, I've still got the pets and I, I still love them. Um, which came first, the chicken or the egg? I've heard lots of different people tell me different ways and ex explanations for it. My favourite is my friend Collins. When he told me like ages ago, he said, um, you, you cook chickens and have them for dinner, but you cook their eggs and make them into omelettes and have them for breakfast. And breakfast comes before dinner, therefore the egg came first. And just because he had elaborately explained that to me in that way, that's my favourite. So I'm going to stick by Colin and say that the egg came first. You may disagree, but I'm sticking to that. Um, do I have any obscure talents? Um can sing, which isn't really obscure because most people can. They some most choose not to, but you still can. Um, I can sing the alphabet backwards really fast. Um, you're probably sitting there wanting me to do it, so I might as well. Um, Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. I can do lots of different kind of stuff. I like to draw every now and again. I like to sing. I like to dance. Um, but yeah, nothing that like has stuck out to me. But you never know. Maybe we'll discover one at college together. Um, childhood nickname. I never had one that I particularly liked, but I wanted people to call me because the reason my mum named me Laura was so that you couldn't shorten my name or make anything weird with it. But my last name, before I got it changed to Schlotthauer, was Walker, um, that was my birth dad's name, and in England they have these um, this brand of crisps, potato chips, which are called Walkers. Night, Laura. Night! And so people would run around, oh that was my stepdad in the background saying goodnight, so sorry about that, um, but the reason people would call me, because of the, sorry, because of the crisps named Walker crisps, my peers would call me Laura Walker Crisp and it wasn't very inventive and it wasn't very you know intelligent of them but I don't know when you're a kid things get to you easier than they they should so I didn't like that um at camp people called me London Laura or they came called me fish and chips because people are so clever and of course the only thing that defines me is my Britishness and recently People that I've met have not bothered to know me by name. Lots of people just call me Hermione because apparently every English female with an English accent is obviously Hermione Granger from Harry Potter because the only traits that she has are that she's female and she's English and I have brown hair so I guess that must make me her. But yeah, it's not something that I enjoy but mostly people do it to just pick on me now because they know I don't like it. Um. How do you lose weight? Well, I didn't really attempt to lose weight, but for my birthday, my boyfriend at the time gave me um, Just Dance 3, and since then I've bought the other Just Dance games because I love it so much, and honestly, that's how I lose my weight, is I've been playing Just Dance and eating right. So, Just Dance, I could be on like a commercial for Just Dance or something and be like, hey, this is how much weight I lost on Just Dance. And they'll have like the before picture where I look like an elephant, and then all of a sudden I'm just skinny. 
but yeah, just dance. It works. Um, have I ever cried at a movie? I feel kind of heartless sometimes because, I don't know, I never cried at Titanic. Just because the ending, I don't know, I, I feel heartless when I watch these movies because everyone's like, oh, it's so sad. Jack leaves her and he, he dies and I'm just kind of like, well, there was enough room on that door for both of them to be on and really she's horrible for taking up all the room. And then he could have just been sleeping and she just let him go. So, I don't know, there's lots of different reasons that I don't cry at movies. Um, the only movie I've ever cried at, I didn't even bawl, I just kind of shed a tear and this is really sad, but that was when I watched um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one and Dobby died. <laughs> And that was when I went to see it in the theatre and everyone, it was like the whole atmosphere, everyone just going, oh. But, yeah, other than that, I haven't really cried at a movie, ever. <laughs> so, it just goes to show how heartless I am. Um, Favourite Disney movie is Lion King. It's a classic. That's that, that's all I have to say about that. Lion King. Um, pet peeves, I don't like when people crack their knuckles. Or when they're cocky and think they're better than everyone else. Those are my only two. Um, of course there's like other little ones, but those are the ones where like, I will really just look at you and be like, please stop. Um, my favourite breakfast food is bacon. I was a vegetarian for a, a, a uh, <laughs> I was a vegetarian for an amount of time and yeah, it didn't work out. I missed bacon and I missed steak. So bacon, my favourite breakfast food. Um, favourite musical is Wicked. The, the book is horrible, so if you ever come across the book, don't read it. Um, but the musical is phenomenal, so... Uh, wicked, favourite musical. Um, my favourite animal is the turtle or the monkey. Um, because they're both cool. Uh, my favourite... My child... My favourite... <laughs> I can't talk today and it's really bad because I'm making a video and I keep messing up and you're probably sitting there like, why does she keep doing that? Um, my favourite childhood TV show, um, I didn't watch a lot of TV when I was a child, but my favourite one was this show called Pingu and it was about a penguin who didn't really speak, he just kind of made a lot of weird noises like, nah, nah. that sounded really disgusting, um, but yeah, he'd make noises and run around and he became friends with a seal and he lived in an igloo with his penguin family there's really not a plot line to it but it's really good for children to watch and I even watch it now it's on Netflix actually I did find that out it's on Netflix if you really want to go on there and explore my childhood then go and look at Pingu P-I-N-G-U um, what meme best describes you? Um, I don't think one of them really describes me uh, I guess Good Guy Greg does in a way, just because I'm always the person who's overly nice to people. Uh, my favourite meme, if you if you even like read memes, uh, is this guy named Joseph Ducro or something, and he he takes song lyrics and makes them like old English, like he I don't know it's it's weird, but he just he just uh, for example. Um, you know, it'll be, I think I have one on my phone here, actually, that my friend sent me, because they know I like them. Uh, I think it says, just one moment. Got to go to my fancy schmancy iPhone. Um, I know it's on here. Or maybe it's not, and I'm just being really stupid on this video right now, because I'm scrolling through my pictures and not finding anything um oh oh i found it oh there you go see result this guy and it's supposed to be baby got back by um sir mix a lot and it says i like grandiose derriers and i am incapable of deceit all you other siblings can repudiate though when a female enters with a diminu diminutive midsection and a spherical posterior in the proximity of your face you develop um, happiness in a man way. I'm family friendly on my videos, so I'm not going to tell you what the word is, but um, so you can kind of guess. So, yeah, but I think he's funny. I like that one. 
Um, the other one that I usually laugh at, just to add on, um, I don't really laugh at it because I think it's funny, I laugh at it because it's really true, is the annoying Facebook girl. Because a lot of people do stupid stuff on Facebook and it makes me wince every time that I see it. So whenever she does something that reminds me of that, I'm always like, oh, I know people that do that. Um, what do you think will happen on December 2012? Nothing. That's my answer. Nothing. The world's not going to end. Saying that the world's going to end because that's the end of the Mayan calendar is like me going up to my family calendar and saying, oh look, our calendar ends on December 30th, or 31st, uh, 2012. That must be the end of the world. But it's not. <laughs> because the end of the world isn't going to happen just because it's the end of a calendar. Because that's what happens, you, buy, you get rid of a calendar and you buy a new one. So, yeah, I don't believe any of this December 2012 stuff, especially since no one has been able to develop a theory that strongly points toward the world ending. Um, yeah, so nothing's going to happen. Uh, my favourite game to play with friends is Apples to Apples. It's a game, you probably know what it is because everyone in America does, but for those of you that don't live in America and are my English friends, Apples to Apples is this really fun game where you have green cards and red cards, and the green cards all have um, adjectives on them, like uh, uh, funny, or sexy, or smelly, or you know, just things like that. Um, and then the red cards all have verbs on verbs, nouns on them, like Celebrities, um, I don't know, machine guns, the Pope, just random ones. And so then what you do is each player gets seven of the red cards and they take turns being the judge. And so the judge puts a green card in the middle and that'll be like, say it's funny, right? And I always like ones that don't make sense. So then say they put funny down and then everyone puts down a card that they like. And I'm looking through them and I find one that's really funny, like funny is... I don't know, mustard. Oh, mustard's funny. Or just something weird like that. I mean, that was a really bad, um, that was a really bad uh, example, but sometimes they're really funny. And so I always like that, just because I like words, as you can tell. So, yeah. But that is the end of my list of questions. Now I think you have enough information about me to start a conversation up. Um, so yeah, I look forward to talking to you and meeting you and, uh, having a fun year at college together and I hope you don't think I'm too weird I mean I'd like to think that you think I'm like weird in a good way because everyone's weird in a little way I'm just hoping that I haven't scared you off yet <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah um I'll talk to you later and uh if you guys can think of any more questions you can comment or message me I may respond I may not I'm kind of questioned out right now but yeah so bye